What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today's video is going to be very exciting because I'm finally going to be installing my first real mod on this Camaro SS. Yes, I heard that right guys. We are finally going to be doing our first real performance mod and that is going to be installing these speed engineering headers and x-pipe kit now these kits here they're actually they're the cheapest headers you can get um for the six gen camaros and i was able to get the long tube one and seven eighth headers with the whole mid section cat delete that'll bolt up to our stock npp axle back exhaust for 650 dollars now that is really 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 cheap these are the new revised versions which are supposed to fit a lot better and i can't wait to hear what this camaro sounds like but before we start diving in let's just get a cold startup on the stock exhaust for you guys so that's pretty loud uh, it does quiet down just a little bit it is in track mode so that's pretty loud but let's then it quiets down uh, that's kind of I guess what it would be like in non-track mode or it can get actually a little quieter so we'll see how it sounds when we put the headers on all right guys so here they are these are the speed engineering um, so far I mean the welds are pretty crisp I mean I don't see any bad issues there I mean it looks really good that from there I mean even here uh, all the the bends are pretty nice uh, we've got looks like full three inch out the back and you see it there and it's even got the merge spike like most of the other ones do um, and then we've got the rest of the midsection so it's one two three five pieces and then this is what's going to bolt up at the axle back all right guys so i've made quite a bit of progress here so on this side you have a heat shield and there's three 10 millimeter bolts right up on the top that you can see you go ahead and remove those then i went ahead and removed the spark plugs I kind of have just the wires dangling here. I'm not too worried about those. But I removed the spark plugs and I've already removed four of the five uh, header bolts. I left one in there for once we disconnect it from the bottom so it doesn't just drop. Um, and then on the passenger side, as you can see, I've moved the coolant tank out of the way. Um, and I actually just... Uh, vice gripped and clamped the hose on the back so i removed the back the back hose left the front one intact and then now i just have the coolant tank kind of up in there here there is a 10 millimeter bolt here that holds the coolant tank together and then the bottom's just a rubber grommet guide as you can see down there but i then went ahead and unclipped these hoses from this corner here so i can have a little more more wiggle room and more give all right guys so I finally loosened up all the header bolts on this side. I've removed the two on the other side. I did have to remove this bracket that goes right in that bolt. It's a 13 millimeter, I believe. Um, and this one basically just kind of holds these uh, tree clips in. I've removed them all off. Took that off to be able to get to the bolt that's right under that one. So you have to take this little bracket off. I also removed the oil dipstick tube i haven't actually pulled it out completely because it's kind of stuck in there so i'm gonna wait till i start moving the headers to actually really pull this thing out because it definitely won't come out that way all right guys it i don't even know what time it is um but we've been at it for a little while and i've got both of my headers stock headers out um the 
passenger side, which is this one, I ended up bringing up and out from the top. Um, I removed this catalytic converter from here once it was loose and brought it out from the top. And that was the easiest way that I could see happening. And the driver side actually came out through the bottom after you remove the steering linkage uh, bolts. So you can see here the steering shaft is actually removed and loosened out of the way. And I've gone ahead and we've already brought up the long tube headers on the passenger side. So for the passenger side, you are gonna want to loosen up the starter completely. You don't, you don't have to remove it. Uh, I, what I did was remove the heat shield on the starter and that actually allowed me to loosen up the starter and have space to bring up the long tube headers. So passenger side, which was one I thought was gonna be a lot harder, actually was fairly easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, remove this midsection. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the pipe at the back uh, using my exhaust and tailpipe cutter. This thing fits and adjusts to whatever you have to do. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut. Oh my God. Whew. AFM valve actuator motors, which I'm gonna remove. And here is where I cut, guys. So I actually ended up cutting after this flattening here. Um, the, that pipe wrench worked wonderfully, uh, made it super easy. Um, and now I've already gone ahead and done everything. Uh, didn't, couldn't do re record and all that at the same time. But here is the finished product. So as you can see here, guys, it comes with the reducer. Obviously the factory pipe is not a three inch like this whole midsection is, um, but it comes with this reducer and I end up, you can actually see where the reducer is. So you would only have to cut probably somewhere around this back end or yeah, you could cut here in the, across the middle of this brace here. Um, and this can slip all the way into the backside to allow you to fit this piece into the X pipe. Makes it very easy. Um, and I had no real big issues with that. Clamped everything down and you can see down there, we've got the X pipe and that is a really nice looking system. I'm very impressed with the quality from Speed Engineering. Uh, everything fit perfect and I have had zero issues. For $650, you really can't beat this full system, guys. I mean, it was just very, very easy. Uh, everything bolted up perfectly fine. Everything is supported. And I did use both O2 extensions. I don't believe you needed both of them, but I did use both of them. I bought the two O2 extensions. So the O2s are in place. And now it's just a matter of putting everything back up together, the spark plugs, the coolant reservoir tank, and we should be done. All right, guys, everything is back together. Got the coolant tank back in. Got all the spark plugs, all the wires, everything's tightened up under. So now it's time to see what this is gonna sound like. Ooh. That is loud. And this is tour mode. This is supposed to be the quiet mode. So it looks like it warrants right back down. So, wow. That is insane, guys. <laughs> this is track mode or sport mode, and this is much louder. Whoa. <laughs> That, I can't, that is insane. So loud is definitely loud. Holy shit. 
wow. That is insane. Whew. You, if you have a Camaro, you need to get headers on it. Because it sounds ridiculous. And even in tour mode, now it sounds like a proper sports car in tour mode. But man, when you go into track, holy shit, look at that. You definitely hear it much, much better. <laughs> you guys need to get headers. Well guys, there you have it. The headers are installed. Can't believe how amazing it sounds, how great it sounds. Speed engineering kit for $650, including the extensions. You can't beat that price, guys. The fitment was perfect. I mean, there wasn't any type of issues trying to adjust or do any of that. I mean, it really was a top-notch fitment on this thing. And I just cannot express how good of a fitment these speed, these speed engineering uh, headers are. Definitely recommend them. Um, there is no need for you to go buying some two, three thousand dollar header and midsection kit when you can get this for a quarter of the price. Now, will they last? That will be determined. I mean, I'll, I'll definitely give a review, but when it comes to their fitment, the quality of the welds, everything looked great. There was nothing that I thought was like, oh man, this was definitely cheapened out. Everything was nice and clean. All the burrs inside the m main primaries were clean. It had the merge spike. I mean, everything is there um, that you would want in a header. All right, guys. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry I didn't get to film as much. I mean, I did spend about seven hours uh, with this. I started about nine and it's already about four in the afternoon. Um, but it's not hard it's time consuming so having a lift definitely works the quick jacks on point work very easily lift the car up as high as I needed to go to be able to put the headers from the bottom uh, remo removing the older headers is probably the one of the hardest things to do and actually putting the oil dipstick to back in that's even harder so definitely recommend somebody being under the car and the other person trying to put the oil dipstick tube through the top to guide it because it is very difficult to try to do it on your own so more than likely headers two person job but you can definitely do it i can now see why some shops charge you know five to eight hundred dollars to get headers installed because it is time consuming it does take a lot of time and work and you need to have the right tools but all in all i mean this thing is ridiculous I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the sound of that car. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't because this is going back to the dyno as soon as we, t we tune it. And it'll also be going back to the track to see if we can do a better time than our 12-2. See you guys in the next video.